so we're in Los Angeles. Los Angeles. And on our way to go see Jeff Waldberg up outside of the city for David to get a gait analysis. Gait analysis. Hi David, it's Jeff. Um, let's go over the video that we shot. Um, we're going to start with the view of you in um, mid stance, all on the right leg here. So pretty much the leg is right underneath the hip. The other knee is gone a little bit in front of it. That kind of defines this position for us. And then what we do is we drop a line right down the center of the upper thigh, kind of split it right down the center. This is where the femur, the thigh bone would run. And then we let that line continue down to the ground and we see where it falls in relation to the foot. And you can see uh, it's a little bit to the inside of the big toe. The optimal zone, I think, is right from the middle of the shoe through the big toe. Now, you do turn this foot out a little bit, so uh, it kind of throws it off a little bit. But still, this is not bad at all. So not really any issue with alignment. Could be a little bit better, but it's not bad. The waist angle, though, is a little bit dropped this way. Uh, but we're going to find that on the opposite side as well. So a little bit of instability, but we'll talk about the reasons why in uh, just a minute or two. But let's go look at you now from the opposite side. A little bit better, but really it's almost the same. So really not an issue with the right or left, one being really good, one being very bad. They're both kind of minimally um, less than what they should be. There is a waist angle drop, but I think that's from the way that you take off and the amount of time that you spend in the air with a slow cadence. So there's just a lot more shock absorption needed as you come down and that's why it's more un unstable. Um, let's move up and look at you from the landing view right here and you can see you're landing pretty much right in neutral which is perfect. Uh, what you do though, and we don't have it here, maybe I'll try to get it to you in a different um, little uh, video, is that your foot could land a little bit further in front but then you draw it back before you land that's why when we drop this plumb line from your knee down to the ground it falls even in front of the laces and normally it's the laces that are really optimal what most people do when they land on their heels this line is going to land at the ankle or even behind it so a lot more shock you minimize the shock but i think you're being a little bit inefficient by bringing this foot further back than just by letting it land a little bit uh, further forward. This line just represents your center of gravity and you can see how relatively close this distance is. You're very close to that center of gravity. So there's going to be more up and down as a result of that rather than kind of coming out a little bit and further in front. Um, let's move on to the takeoff. This we found to be very delayed. This 21 degree angle normally um, I like it to be about 15 degrees or less. Uh, that's a big difference. Uh, knee was not exactly locked out but pretty close to it. We want the knee to be in a moderate amount of bend. Um, it just makes for a lot more efficiency and you can see too in going with it see how this angle is starting to get a little bit higher. We want it to be a little bit more shallow like maybe that line ending up here. So basically this whole thing is just telling us that there is a delay in the takeoff on a straight knee and what it means is you, you've gone up and one indication of that is that you can see how high this um, right foot is off the deck. So let's go measure that in our next view. So you can see from this view here we've compared you, your arms blocking it now, but there's a, a white six inch long piece of tape over there and when we measure the amount of up and down 4.4, here's the optimal about half of that, about two to two and a half. So that's coming in from that delay in the takeoff and also to some degree from the, the landing underneath. But still, it's really, I'd say, 90% from the delay in the takeoff and the uh, cadence, which are going together. The good news is when we look at you from this view right here, uh, side view, uh, stop you in mid stance, draw, an ear, uh, draw a line from the ear to the ball of the foot, and then look where the shoulder and especially where the center of the pelvis are you're nice and parallel. This is perfect because optimal is that controlled falling forward and it's only when the pelvis is really close to this longer line that you're going to get that controlled fall. And again, I told this to Carrie, I'm telling it to you, I don't see this often enough because it's very, very rare that people are aligned as well. So this looks great, just keep that going. 
um, looking at you down here, looking at your feet, um, really not much of an issue. There was a slight difference on one versus the other, but you can see both numbers really are about the same. So 180 minus both these numbers, you got like 11 degrees of pronation. It's really not an issue. And if you just increase your cadence by shortening um, your delayed takeoff, you're going to minimize any mistakes caused uh, by a tiny bit of overpronation. So not a problem here. Arm swing. I like to say that it should be elbows bent less than 90 degrees throughout the entire time that the arm is swinging back and forth. You can see how it opens up. And I think the reason for that is because of the delayed takeoff. It just causes more up and down motion, and therefore your elbow wants to open or unbend um, as it comes down. So that's something that's going to be fixed just with the other stuff that we're doing. So let's move back up to um, our original views. So let's talk about the changes. Um, the landing, I mean, we can definitely clean it up. Uh, the things that I said to you were, you want to land in neutral. You don't want to land on the toes. You don't want to land on the heel. Um, it should be a 60-40 between the front, I believe, and the back. So you'd always want to make sure you do get that touchdown in the rear. But ankle can definitely be relaxed. And remember, there is a connection between what the ankles do and what the hands do. So if you ever feel your hands tensing up, most likely your ankles are and vice versa. So um, you were able to do that very, very well and you looked a lot more efficient once you did that. The second thing that you can do is right here. You've got to get that takeoff to occur a little bit earlier. So the best cue that I can tell you is either increase your cadence or here's the specific cue if you want to play with this one and that is as soon as your weighted leg in this case it would be the left one as soon as it passes right about here underneath the hip you want to unweight the foot or lift the heel just get it off the ground a little bit earlier and another way to do it is just with this last and final thing that's the cadence so the cadence optimally should be about 22 and a half, 23, counting one foot in a 15 second time period. You were at about 21. So not horrible, but definitely could be better. And you were able to do it. So here are the three things that you can work on. Landing, takeoff, cadence. Pretty much if you do one and you do three, you're automatically going to get two. So you don't have to think of too many things and it's automatically going to just take over and, and you're going to be optimized here. So uh, good luck with everything. Let me know how you're doing. And um, if I don't hear from you, good luck in the race. Bye. Okay. Well, I thought we learned a lot. Yes. I mean, that is amazing. It's amazing to watch exactly what it is you're doing and then to have a professional like Jeff tell you exactly what you need to do to change it. It was amazing. He well, he went you over and, everything. With and then you went back on the treadmill and he coached you yeah. to what to do to fix the issue. I hope you guys have a great day and keep learning, keep striving. We want to hear from you. We want to know what your goals are this year and uh, because it will help us achieve greatness. Got any closing remarks, young lady? Pick up the cadence. Oh, pick up the cadence. See ya. <laughs>